Hey friends, in this video I want to talk about maximum deep benefit, which is a strategy concept that I have coined. I think it's one of the only, if not the only, novel concept that I believe I've contributed to the field of strategy after studying it pretty intensively for some time. There are other things that I've, you know, contributed as like explanations of existing concepts or so on, but this feels like a really important contribution to me at least. And I think it's very connected to the Bodhisattva vows for me. And it's a practical and strategic way to think about being of service. And the basic idea with maximum deep benefit is very simple, which is to aim to do things that are of as much benefit as possible to as many beings as possible, that you benefit as many beings as possible as deeply as possible. So you're doing something to be of benefit both at scale and in depth and balancing those things, trying to benefit as many beings as possible but also benefit them as deeply as possible. And at least in my experience, it's possible to find projects, to do service projects that hit a sweet spot where they're both deeply beneficial and scale well. Just to give a simple example, one thing that I really like to do with my service projects is to put Creative Commons licenses on them. And that allows what I do to scale, that other people can share it, they can remix it, they can reuse it. Depends on the license I've picked, of course, but it allows the project to spread in a way that it might not otherwise be able to if I retained copyright in the traditional sense. But I can also create something that's deeply beneficial. For example, just to give a simple example, I think that if someone learns the technique of loving kindness meditation, that they learn how to, for example, feel love in their heart or to think loving thoughts and to bring that into their life, that that could really change their life. That could be of tremendous benefit to them where they're happier in themselves and also kinder in their actions towards others, towards the world, that they show up differently in a more loving way. And that could even change very many people's lives. Uh, that's why I put my guided meditation out, recordings out in a way that they have Creative Commons license on them, people can use them, and it's easy to spread them. I do one guided meditation for half an hour once a week, roughly, and then I put a Creative Commons license on it, I upload it to various places, and that can help people for the rest of time. They can listen to that guided meditation whenever and use it whenever and that technique the more you do that technique the more it's going to be a benefit to you in your life so i really structure my projects for this maximum deep benefit and one way to do it is to sort of find projects that hit the sweet spot where they're both deeply beneficial and scale very easily another way to do it is sort of break it up and do some complementary projects that some of which focus more on scale and some of which focus more on depth. Like if I do a, an event for a small number of people, that's gonna be focused more on depth. But if I focus on say, writing a blog post, that might be focused more on breadth and helping more people. And if you're doing some service projects related to both in a given area, then you're going to be hitting that maximum deep benefit, even if it's sort of from two different angles. And so, for example, with the three areas of my own life's work, love, curiosity, empowerment, it's been fruitful to me to think about, okay, how can I do this in a way that's deep? And how can I do this in a way that's broad, that helps a lot of different people? And sometimes I can hit the sweet spot where I do projects that are both, like, for example, if I have a podcast, I record a conversation with someone and that has a very deep impact on my life. I know that because I was in the conversation that it's sort of psychoactive, then you know, it's transformative. It's it's has a real tangible impact on my life, which many of my podcast conversations have been, that that's automatically going to be available to scale to a lot of people because it's recorded and I can put it out there. I have a whole post on this on the value of recording and sharing conversations because conversations can change your life. They can be transformative and be of tremendous benefit. So anyway, this quality of maximum deep benefit is something that I aim for with my projects. It's something that we aim for at the Service Guild, which is the organization that I've built around my life's work. And 
really structuring our service projects to be of that maximum deep benefit. And it's something that I would recommend that you think about, especially if you're doing fun service projects. If you're trying to be of benefit with your life, it's worth thinking about how can I do this in a way that's of maximum deep benefit? How can I do this so that it will help as many beings as possible as deeply as possible?